levels of X style even. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Faster style. Oh, I wanted to check uh if there's any new dealios. There are Thistleum. A hidden village built by Danans, who fled from Pelagian. They still have a deep wariness towards Renans, and some Danans immigrate from Pelagian out of an aversion for Lenigus refugees, and some of them saw math teachers, chop firefighters, shoot wizards, and stab office workers with knives. Pelagian. Capital city of Ganeth Haros. Danans struggling to regain their identity, and Renan refugees from various places live here. Authority, division, and conflict all coexist here. Delphatis Castle. The castle built by Volron, the last water lord. Since, since his death, it has been monitored and sealed off pending demolition due to concerns it could be used by Renan conservatives. Uh, there's four more to go. Got all the people. Cow Basil. A mysterious group let, led by Nazamil that wear strange masks. They are composed of both Danans and Renans, and the group's name means the One Path. So there's three more of these. Good times. Of course it would be Doc. Doc Hendrix. Hmm? Oh, Alfin, have you gathered the materials? Not yet. Wait a little longer. I'm sure we'll find them. No rush. Just do it when you feel like it. Huh? Oh, is that what we need the, uh... The one thing for? Laws work! So, Law, what have you been up to with the Crimson Crows lately? Well, all sorts of things! Keeping Zoogles in check, hauling supplies... Whatever people need me for. Most of it's manual labor, but one time they sent me to find some kid who'd run away from town. Sounds like they really rely on you. I don't know about that. The kids like me, at least. I've also escorted some traveling merchants from time to time. More and more merchants are traveling between the realms these days, after all. Yeah, that's right. The other day, I was even hired to escort this lady who works as a traveling peddler. Uh, knowing you, you were probably fawning over her the whole way there. I'd never do that. This was a job, you know. Took it seriously and got her from point A to point B. Or, well, I guess maybe I put in a bit more effort than usual. Because guess what? She had a special token of her gratitude for me. A special what? And you accepted it? Oh, yeah. That sweet, sweet gratitude. Excuse me? Oh, my gosh, Law. How is that taking it seriously? Oh, you're the worst. Huh? What are you getting mad at me for? Aren't I allowed to enjoy a few apples? What? Apples? Yeah. I couldn't eat them all myself, so I shared some with the kids in town. They loved them. <laughs> you did that on purpose, didn't you? Don't even talk to me anymore. Huh? Hey, what I do? <laughs> I'm totally lost, man. You might want to, uh, think about how things are going to sound before you say them. Talk about denied. Denied. Oh, so we need a. Uh... Yeah, that that titanium bam brace there for that mm -hmm. questicle. Looks like someone needs our help. Good grief! You're such a softy. Fine. Let's go ask. Hmm. All right, now, now what should I do? Huh? Hey, Alfin. Hey. You look like something's on your mind. What's up? It's just that Tilsa doesn't come back much. What was that? She hasn't come back. Is she okay? Well, it's not like she went anywhere dangerous or anything. As you know, she's been focused on supporting Pelagian for some time now. Still, she used to return here from time to time for supplies and information. Hmm? So you just meant that she hasn't been back in a while. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't screw up and get attacked by Zoogles on her way back. 
But maybe something happened where she is. Oh, right. Do, do you think you could go check in on her for me? I don't want to force you to do anything, but with your skills, Zoogles are of little concern, so... We'll handle it. it. We're on it. Thanks, I appreciate it. Ah, that reminds me. Grenar also said he had something important that needed doing. Grenar did? Got it. We'll stop by later. Sorry to ask so much of you, and thank you. Grenar's important letter. Reconstruction. I hope Tilsa's okay. No need to worry about her. Like Nath said, she's probably just busy with work. For now. Let's see what Grenar wanted to talk to us about. Grenar style, even. How you doing? Hey. Grenar, Nate said you have an important task you need help with. Ah, yes. It's rather serious, so I can only ask someone I truly trust. And do you think you can trust me? Hmm. Well, I suppose you'd be fine. Alright, I'm entrusting this to you. What? A letter? Yeah, give it to Tilsa, and make absolutely sure you give it to her yourself. No matter what, don't lose it or give it to anyone else. It's an incredibly important letter that I poured my soul into. Hmm. It is, is it? So, in other words, it's a love letter. What? No, I mean... Eh. Sounds a little excessive to respond like that. Ah, uh, looks like I can't hide it from you. Yeah, that's what it is. A love letter. That, that's why I, I need your help. Could you give it to Tilsa and let me know what she says? Oh boy. Got it. We were already planning to check on Tilsa anyway. Thanks. If she ends up turning me down... Cry with me, Alfin. Uh, no. You can do that on your own. Woo! Classic. Yeah! Well, did you give her the letter? What did Tulsa say? Calm down, we haven't given it to her yet. We'll let you know as soon as we have her response. I'm counting on you. We want to go here now. Back to Ganetharos. Because reasons chocolate chew. That was quite the little adventure we went on. Do 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 do. Oh, right there. That's simple enough. <laughs> Tilsa. Tilsa. Hey. Tilsa. So this is where you were. Oh, if it is an Alphen. Were, were you looking for me? You haven't been back to Ulzebek lately, so Nath asked us to check in on you. Hmm? Oh, so that's what this is about. Come to think of it, I haven't been able to contact them recently. Did you run into some kind of trouble here? Not exactly. I've just been busy. There's a lot of anxious people in the city, after all. Things do still seem tense in Pelagian between the Danans and Renans. Hmm. Even with the reduction in conflicts by separating where they live, people's hearts and minds aren't so easy to deal with. Deal with style. Speaking of which, you know a lot about mental health too, right? Mental health style. Yes, that's why there are so many things for me to do here. It's also why I've neglected keeping in touch with Ulzebeck. By the way... Oh, that reminds me, there was a request we got in Ulzebeck. 
Oh? What is it? We received an important letter from Gr Grenar. He'd, he'd like you to read it. This is... He's asked us to get your response, so please come to a decision after you've given it a thorough read. I don't need to think about this. Yes, I'll, I'll gladly accept. Huh? What? Seriously? Of course. I'd welcome a supply of goods any time. Tell him to send whatever he can. Wait a minute. Supplies? Well, what did the letter say? Hmm? It was a list of supplies that can be shipped from Elizabeth. Well, what did you think it said? <sighs> Bernard, you gave us the wrong letter. Oh, so it was supposed to be a different letter, eh? He's always been bad at following through when it comes to unfortunate things like this. Sorry about all the trouble you've been put through. I'll be going back to Ulzebek in a few days. Got it. Understood. We'll let Nathan Grenard know. Mwah! Ah, ah. Report back to Grenard. Grenard is really dependable when it comes to work, but sometimes he's so dim-witted that it's shocking. Shocking style. Future possibilities. I never thought about anything like that before. I guess it depends on Grenar. Grenar style. Elizabeth. Smart guy style, even. That was quite the little adventure we went on. I know. Sure. Sure style. Grenar, we gave you the let. We, we gave her your letter. Yeah. And what was her response? She said she'll be awaiting the shipment of supplies. Huh? huh? Well, what does that mean? She got the wrong letter. It was a list of supplies to ship. <laughs> Then where's the letter I was supposed to send to Tilsa? Don't ask us. Who were you trying to send the list of supplies to? Damn it! Oh, right. I sent it to the person in charge of Cislodia's supplies. <sighs> you keep making things worse for yourself. Son of a... You, you've got to get it back as soon as... No, it's more important to send the list of supplies to the correct recipient. Supplies style. I've got to prepare a shipment of supplies to Pelagian, too, so I... Er... You know. <sighs> it's hopeless. Cry with me, Alfin. Just Stop great. saying that! Stop sa I'm not going to cry with you, you turd! I got it already. Calm down. For now, w w why don't you try contacting the person in charge of those supplies? Supplies style, even. R right. Oh, man. At this rate, Tilsa is going to get fed up with me. You're damn right she is. A as am I. Well, uh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, right. We have to go report back to Nath. Right. See you later. Uh-huh. Jill and Nathan on the whole story. I can't believe I bungled things up before I could confess my feelings. Even after finally making up my mind to give her that letter. Letter style, even. But I'm not giving up yet. Next time, I'll make sure Tilsa takes notice of me. Okay. Whatever you say, dude.
How you doing? Hey. Nath, we met up with Tilsa. <laughs> Tilsa, Oklahoma. Oh, you're back. How was Tilsa? She was fine. She's just she's just been too busy to come back. I see. It 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 it, it must be pretty rough and Pelagian. I'm just glad she's okay. She said she'll be back in Olzebek in a few days. The next time you see her, let her know she's appreciated. All right. Got it. Thanks for going all the way there. By the way, what was it Grenar needed? Well... Well, sure. it, uh... It was just an errand. We took care of it for him. Huh? Oh, is that it? I can't believe he pushed his duties onto you. You know you don't have to accept trivial tasks like that. Task style. No, I really do want to help out as much as I can. I always feel bad about not being able to participate much in Crimson Crow activities. Activity style. <laughs> what are you talking about? You shouldn't feel guilty about that. Whether you're here or not, you're always a member of the Crimson Crows. The Crimson Crows. Do, 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 do. Whenever there's anything that only you can handle, I never hesitate to ask you for help. Got it. I'll see you later. Sure. Th thanks for helping out. 3600 gold, 840 SP. Reconstruction. Uzebek has, Uzebek has become quite agreeable, even comfortable, thanks to you all. I wish Zephyr were here to see it. I'm sure he'd be stunned at how beautiful the city's become. It wasn't all our doing. The Crimson Crows had a huge hand in the progress here. Yes. It's true. It's improved so much in the last year, I hardly recognize it. It's like an entirely different city from the time we first met. I'm guessing this is because of... Because we did all the reconstruction questicles. I'll keep chipping away and making it even better still. Oh yeah, Grenar. Give them that thing. Yeah. Right, right. This is a small thank you from us. It's yours. Are you sure? Thanks. Both of you. I'm grateful. This will be a big help. We'll, we'll, we'll use it wisely. Come back whenever you you need anything. You're welcome anytime. We got a camo meal. Red camo meal. Jasmine. Red jasmine. 10,000 gold. Okay. That's fun. We got a skit. It's only been a year, but in every city we visited, reconstruction efforts seem to be progressing well. It's encouraging to see everything coming together like this. That's true. But even then, some nations are progressing better than others. And each still has its own set of problems. Reconciliation between Renans and Danans has only just begun. There are still many issues to work through. Yeah, but still. It's pretty exciting to see what shape the world's gonna take, you know? Hope mm. is always a good thing to have. We might even start to see beautiful cityscapes like the Synths in every region. Who knows? Maybe as Danon and Renan cultures start to overlap, we'll see all kinds of new books and tools. People will probably develop new dishes and recipes to try too. Oh, and innovative new fashion designs. Yeah. From now on, everyone in this world will have their own hopes and dreams to pursue. And for our part, we'll have to do our best to assist in any way we can to help those dreams become reality. Well, yeah, that goes without saying. So what about you, Dohalim? What sort of things do you want to see in the new world? Hmm. If I had to choose, perhaps a new kind of instrument. I've always wondered if it would be possible to create an instrument that functions as wind, string, and percussion all in one. If so, 
it would surely open a door to new musical possibilities. Uh, maybe that's a door best left closed. <laughs> hmm. Well, I think we're done here, you know, until we get the one thing for that quest. Oh, wait, 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 there's a... Da, 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 da. There's a dueling quest over here. Yeah? I feel yeah? like somebody's watching us. Maybe there's someone around here who needs our help. Potter. Harry, Harry Potter, even. Plates and fishes for sale. Dishes? Why did I say fishes? What the beep? Plates and dishes for sale. Top quality pottery. Why not buy one? They're cheap and a delight to use. I see. Plates and dishes, eh? I mean, I see what sort of pieces you're selling. Sure, have a look all you want. My wares use Caliglian clay, and I couldn't be prouder of them. These really are quite nice. Dohalim? Is something the matter, Dohalim? Oh. Such an indescribable texture. There's no mistaking it. This dish is an awe-inspiring masterpiece. A masterpiece style. Well, seems like you have an eye for pottery. Are you a potter yourself? Yes, though I only started recently. I'd love to be able to produce such splendid pieces as these someday. This is the first time hearing of it. I knew you collected pottery, but I didn't know you'd start making your own as well. Pottery style. Pottery is wonderful. You can get in touch with the earth, hear its voice, and dig out its limitless possibilities with your very own eyes. I remember we had a pottery segment in our art class, and I was not good at it at all. <laughs> it was sad. I... See, I suppose I'm still not used to Dan and aesthetic sensibilities, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> then take this as a chance to learn more. This piece is very high quality, not only as an art object, but also as functional pottery. You mentioned Calaglia clay. Does the clay used really make such a difference? I normally wouldn't say so much to a customer, but I can see you're a fellow pottery lover. So I'll share a little more than usual. The clay used in my pieces, well, it actually includes parts from Zoogles. What? What an, un what an unexpected secret. Now that I've heard it, I've no choice but to try it myself. Huh? What? So you're just gonna set off right now? Can't we do this later? A beautiful plate enhances the accompanying food's flavor. You of all people should be able to imagine the importance of this. <laughs> what do you say, Xion? Don't you think we ought to set out now to find materials to make pottery? Go find materials. Maybe we already have them. Yeah. Indeed, a high-quality plate probably would make a meal taste better. So you do understand. Then let us get getting, in search of the ultimate clay. Good luck. Thanks, General Pepper. If you find any materials, I'll teach you how to work them into the clay. Path of the Potter. Harry Potter, even. So what do we need for you these You can make ceramic dishes all by yourself? Wow, Dohalim. I'm impressed. Three, Music, antiques, and now dragons. pottery? Just how many hobbies do you have? The world is full of curiosities. One can never have too many interests. The world is a vampire. I think we already have them. How's this? We gathered some materials. Could you have a look? Oh, this is it, all right. The the, the, this will make some great clay. Let's go! Great one, man. So is it time for some pottery making, then? No. 
No, wait. There's one more thing I'd like to check. The glaze used on this piece is also different than anything I'm familiar with. It must be made from something special, yes? Wow, you really have an eye for detail. Huh? Glaze? Like on a cake? Or a ham? Not exactly. It is like paint or varnish, but for pottery. Oh, gotcha. High temperatures transform the glaze into a class-like texture on the surface of the clay, making the piece more durable. The new Harry Potter book is out. The series is very popular for those from 6 to 60, and some with IQs higher than that. <laughs> Fun fact, I uh, I never read the Harry Potter books, but I did like the movies. At the same time, it can change the appearance of pottery in innumerable ways. Glaze is truly the water that brings pottery to life. You kind of lost me there, but it sounds like glaze is something you'd want on pottery. So then. Now then. Could you tell me where to obtain a glaze like that which is on this dish? I'll tell you everything now that you've come this far. As I'm sure you know, glaze is made from ashes and clay. I hear Mitch is really into pottery. You can find especially good clay in Shinefall Woods. That's what I use. Which, fun fact, that that's where we need to go to advance the plot anyway. My thanks. In Ganeth Haros, eh? I see. Thank you. Let's get going right away, then. There's no use trying to stop him once he gets this worked up. Being passionate about your hobbies is all well and good, but just how far do you intend to take this obsession? It is an unending quest for perfection. Indeed, the very essence of the path of a potter. Dohalim. Oh, I'm sure that everyone will be able to use whatever wonderful dishes you end up making. Making, making, making. Du -du 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 -du. Wait, Law has another one here? Apparently so. Oh, it's over here. It's like hiding in the corner. Bruce style. Oh, it's this time. Who? Cool. This memorial is here for those who died under Renan rule. Yeah, like my dad. Zephyr, voiced by Patrick. Speaking of Zephyr, what happened to that ring, Law? I don't see you wearing it. Oh, my dad's ring? I don't have it with me right now. What? Why not? It's a special memento, isn't it? Sure, but, uh, it's heavy. I'm tired of carrying it around all the time. Meh. <laughs> You're saying a ring is too heavy for you? Or is that an excuse because you misplaced it? Sounds like an excuse to me. Of course not. It's around. Somewhere. Right. So where exactly is it, then? Well, I guess... Mm. I knew it! I'll help you look for it. It's a special memento to remember your mom and dad by. You don't need to bother. It's okay. Stop trying to hide your feelings. I'm sure someone's seen it. Let's ask around. <sighs> Zephyr's Ring. Patrick Sight style. You pick up on the strangest things. Always sticking your nose in others' business. I appreciate the thought, but... Did you say something, Law? No, nothing. One bit when Mitch was on the line with someone talking about things that annoy Harry Potter. When, when one of them was getting killed off in the last book. Oops. Uh, hmm? Shh. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Law, you're looking great today. You know, you look more and more like Zephyr every day. No. You've said that before, and it's still not true. Heh. <laughs> I'm just glad to see Zephyr's son working hard in the Crimson Crows. We owe a lot to Zephyr. I hope you grow up to be just like him. Yeah. We're looking for Zephyr's ring. You haven't seen it around here, have you? Hmm. A ring? Can't say I have. Thanks. Got it. Thanks. Can't we just give it a rest? We don't have to go through the trouble of looking for it. Stop being so considerate. It's weird. Besides, it'll be bad if it ends up buried in the sand, right? We gotta find it. Fast. Time to get cracking. Uh-huh. crack a whackin'. It's not buried in the sand, though. How do you know? Find where the ring has gone. Eggs. Hey, don't. Sir. Hmm? What? Zephyr's ring went missing? That's not good. Well. Have you seen it around lately? No, I haven't, but I pray you find it. It's a memento of a great man. I know, I know. <sighs> Zephyr, your father, he was really amazing. It, 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 it's thanks to him that all of us are even alive. He, he supported, inspired, and guided us. He would always play Slipknot on his time off. That's what I call a true leader. Yeah. I agree. When I came to Calaglia, he was the first person who trusted me. I wonder if the Crimson Crows will ever have another leader like that. Uh-huh. I'm getting kind of hungry. Maybe it's time to take a break and get something to eat. Give me a break! Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar! We can eat later. Right now, we need to find that ring. Recognize. <laughs> 